see what I can come up with. Um, one big no, no. And I see this, I see this in like, um, Facebook groups where someone says, oh, I've had a guest and they've broken this picture, this bowl, this antique, this heirloom. It's like, what, why do you have those in your property? You're going to have all sorts of people in there and hopefully they'll take care of your place. But if there's something that you cannot replace or has sentimental value, get it out of your house, get it out of your property. Okay. If there's pictures on the wall um, of you and your family, take them down. I don't want to feel, and the guests don't want to feel like they're in someone else's home. They want to feel like they're in their own home for their stay. So that's a, those are a couple of big ones, you know, depersonalize, I guess is, is a way of saying it and get rid of those things that you cannot replace. Another thing, one thing to do is go and stay there yourself as a guest and mm. maybe have somebody else come and test drive it in another weekend or something like that. And try to think of it. Your, if you're brand new, you don't know where, you know, the uh, washing up liquid or the, you know, like the, um, the, the hand cream is or where the rest of the toilet paper is, you don't know where it is. So try to live like a guest so you can see what is needed and don't skimp. Don't skimp. Don't go and buy bargain basement sheets and, you know, the crappiest toilet paper, these kind of things. Think about your guests when they're there and what kind of experience you want them to have. We want to think of them at their lifetime value rather than they're just coming for one or two nights or even a week. We want them to come back and again, and we want them to give good reviews and tell their friends because that is part of our marketing as well is telling others to come and stay. So it's looking at the guest experience and what they want and what they will need while they're there so that they can spend the time instead of going to the local store to stock up on toilet paper when they've only been there 20 minutes. Um, they can spend the time with their family, friends and enjoying your property in the area. I love it. That is great advice for our listeners that don't have a short term rental yet, but they've been thinking about it, but they didn't really, you know, know where to start uh, on average.